Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to go thrifting. Um, it's a Sunday but we're not going to the car boot sale, we're actually going to go to the opposite side of town and go to some charity shops. It's, I don't usually go thrifting on a Sunday in the charity shops, it's usually a weekday thing. So I just want to see how the stock is on a Sunday, things like that. So let's go thrifting and we'll see what we can find. Wonderful news, also we sold the Dinosaur Designs uh, bowl and serving uh, cutlery. I'll put a screenshot up here. So we, I got an offer of 130, I accepted, um, and then there was a 5.99 shipping on it, I think. So in the end, once all the eBay costs were taken off, I actually only earned, in my hand, profit, was like 96 pounds so even though it was a 135 pound sale in my hand was only 96 something like that you know give or take a quid so just an fyi you know the higher price the more they take basically and then i promote my listings not too much but i do promote my listings i am um, on my fixed price items so i don't know if it makes a difference in the algorithm honestly there's a debate that's ongoing people do different things Turning four pound into 96 is still an awesome sale. Yes, please. Actually. Okay, today is Wednesday. Sorry. <laughs> I have had a really bad tooth and I had to get a tooth out the last few days. So I've been, well, my jaw was really bad after it. Anyway, let me show you what I got while I was thrifting. I think five items I got on Sunday. So you would have saw me pick these up. They're two antique Victorian jelly moulds. One of them is maybe a bit bright, but one of them is just quite a plain jelly mold. The other is like a leaf design with a rose. It's like a rose in the bottom. It's really nice. So I picked up the two for £2.50. £2.50 for the two. And I think we could probably get about £20-£25 for those. The next item I picked up is this... It's an asparagus steamer. I have never heard of an asparagus steamer before. Um, I had to Google it. The reason I picked it up it was obviously the Switzerland. So it's by Can Recon. I'm not sure. We got this for four. Um, it does have like this in there. So yeah, we could probably get about 25 30 for that used. 
Okay, the next item I picked up is this set of four teacups and saucers. They don't look much. These are Melaware. These are melamine and the better kind of melamine that, that you can buy. You can feel the difference for good plastic. Um, so these are retro uh, grey with like the orange and yellow border. Uh, really, really cool. Set of four, you could probably get maybe 20, 25. I'll put some comparisons up for everything. The next item I picked up was this copper, like arts and crafts style oval. <laughs> it could be a tray or possibly a wall hanging. It's got a a hook here. Um, but yeah, I like I like the design. I believe in arts and crafts copper style is still in 2.99 can't really see 2.99 and i think we could probably get around again 20 25 pounds for this and the last item i got which was my favorite and it was in the video is this beautiful beautiful glass vase it has the layered submerso so I don't know if it, it can really pick it up. So yeah, you can see there, it's got one layer and then a lighter layer and then a clear. So it's like a layered summer. So it's stunning. I am going to put some comparisons up here that I think are the same. Um, it's a nice polished, clean base, exactly what you want. The weight is exactly what you want. Like, it's ridiculous. When you pick up a piece of glass, and it's just ridiculous, wait, for what for what it is, you're like, it's good. It's a good piece of glass. And obviously your base. You want that nice, sliced, polished base. No signature, but again, look at the comparisons. I think we can see Murano. Um, yeah, I love it. I think, well, we spent £4 on this, and I think 60 plus maybe more <laughs> there's my haul for sunday's thrifting it was a really good day i was out for about an hour and a half two hours you know super easy and got i don't think a good amount of money here um so yeah i'll be catching up with you again soon bye